Higher education crisis could be looming for colleges and universities right here in our state. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Mark Sidney. And I'm Erin Connolly. School leaders say the governor's budget leaves them underfunded and now massive cuts could be coming. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Eliza Krasinski is live right now in the capital city where the hearing is still happening tonight. Eliza. Yeah, Mark, Aaron, staff and students are still here at the LOB upstairs testifying, fighting for higher education here in Connecticut. Colleges and universities say if they don't receive the millions of dollars they need of funding from the state, there is going to be some uh, major cuts. This would be an absolute code red DEFCON 1 situation. The Connecticut State Colleges and University System, along with UConn, worry of the decline in quality education and accessibility after they say Governor Lamont's budget leaves them shortchanged. The budget really just does not go far enough in terms of supporting these institutions. Cuts are being discussed now that federal COVID-19 relief funds aren't on the table. 300 jobs could be on the chopping block across the state university system. This also comes after CSCU just implemented a 5% tuition hike. The Appropriations Committee heard hours of testimony from students and staff. We ask as students if the committee will commit to a permanent increase in state funding levels for UConn, CSCUs, and community colleges. Will you choose not to deny our generation of the higher ed funding we need in order to secure a firm, luminous future for all of us? CSCU is asking for over $40 million, and UConn, along with UConn Health, are asking for a combined $64.2 million. Students worry about the future of Connecticut. But we aren't just talking about a diploma. We're talking about high quality, affordable education that gives people the tools to deal with today's issues and tomorrow's issues. And I wonder as I sit in front of this committee and uh, testify here, what the next seven years and the next 14 years and the next 20 or, or 50 years are gonna look like. Now I have reached out to the governor's office and the appropriations committee members for some comments. We are still waiting to hear back tonight. Reporting live in Hartford, Eliza Krasinski, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Eliza